Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cuphead. Uh, I recently bought this game. Uh, I actually tried to record this before, but my recording software was so fucking garbage it wouldn't let me. But I got some new recording software. It, it seems to work really well. And, uh, yeah. So here's, you know, the, the needed, the necessary Cuphead playthrough because this game is the shit. Uh, I've put a little bit of time into this game. Actually, hold on. Let me... Yeah, hold on. Uh... I've put about seven hours into this game. I've played a bit of it. I've only gotten to World 2, but... Oh, fuck. I, I didn't read it. Ah! Uh, one day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the other kiddos' better warnings, uh, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. All right. I mean, let me do some... Sick voice acting. <clears throat> Inside, Cuphead and Mugman found themselves on the winning shoot at the crowd's table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose! Nice run, boys, left a newcomer. <laughs> the brothers gasped, it was the casino owner. The casino's owner. The devil himself. Now, how about a raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot of my casino is yours, the devil boot. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried the Mugman. He understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes left the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very life. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, mister! Perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just my pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug! And Cuphead. We have to find Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. And the game begins. Now, if you don't know what Cuphead is, I don't know what, what rock you've been living under. But uh, this game, it, it's pretty pretty hot on the internet right now. Um, it was the It's the number one best-selling game on Steam right now, I believe. And uh, on console. I know on Xbox or... or Xbox One, Xbox 360 is outdated. Xbox One, it is the uh, top-selling game. But, yeah, so... Cuphead, very popular game. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I, don't, I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, you can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you best be ready for some nasty business. Your dinner friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect them to transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It'll we'll give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my de go to my riding desk and use the mystical ink well there. You can prepare yourself for a scrap. All right, and welcome to Cuphead. So this is gonna be the tutorial. Um, I already know how to play the game because, as I said, I put I put a fair bit of time into this game. Uh, so. Duck, you know, hold down to crouch. I'm playing this with the controller because keyboard, this is cancer. Tap for short jump, or tap for short jump, hold for high jump. Press Y to dash in the air. Down and A to descend on the platform. X, you know, rapid fire. Send right here. Oh, this is the parrying system. Basically, when you're in the air and you tap A, you can nullify pink objects. It also builds super meter. Into play where you revive your ally by parrying them. EX move is, you know, a special attack. You need uh, those little cards in the corner next to my HP. Use those, you know. And uh, we throw Hadoukens, because why not? Multi directional Hadoukens. Alright. I did the tutorial for the free coin and, you know, the obligatory tutorial because it's my first Cuphead video. But yeah. Uh, I really do enjoy this game. I find Cuphead incredibly fun to play. Um, even though it is difficult, it is uh, well-renowned for being difficult. But I think that's what makes the game fun. Um, as I said, I played a bit of this game, so don't expect me a blind playthrough, because I have played a bit of it, because I don't want to just start a blind playthrough, because my, my recording software wasn't good enough when I got the game to record an episode. So after playing like half the game, because I'm not just going to buy a game for YouTube... And then, like, not play it because I don't have the right recording stuff. I still want to enjoy the game. I still paid $20 for this. So, yeah, this isn't going to be a blind playthrough. I kind of know what I'm doing. 
Uh, this guy. Hey, fellas, looks like you're in for it now, huh? I used to be the same way. Always getting into trouble, running, jumping, shooting. But now I just prefer strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take these. You receive three gold coins. Hey, guys, good to see you again. Hope those coins helped out a bit. Maybe check with the other folks around here. Maybe that'll help you, too. Someone's not trying to kill you, I mean. Alright. So, most people start the game with this level, Forest Follies. I think it's a really cool first level. Um, I'm probably going to do, like, one level and then a boss or a boss. You're up. Depending on how long. If I beat this level in one try, then I'll do two bosses. If the level takes me multiple tries, then I'll do uh, one boss. And by multiple tries, I don't mean, like, two. I mean, like, you know... Multiple tries that actually count as multiple tries, like a lot of tries. Like if it takes me more than five minutes to beat this level. And that's not me being cocky, because I have played this level a lot, and this is the first level of the game. I know it's kinda difficult, but it's not that bad. And I have played a fair bit of this game, so I'm already semi decent at it. I'm not gonna say I'm like great at Cuphead, because honestly I'm still fuck. I'm still, as you can see, really bad. Oh man, uh, I might die. Um, yeah, I was talking all that good shit and then I died. There we go. So now I have to worry about the acorns. Okay. Bada bing. Bada boom. Oh jeez. Was... Sometimes the screen gets cluttered. One of the things I will say, because I have been playing this game with a friend, uh, this game is a lot easier and a lot more difficult in two-player. Like, enemies have more HP, but it's easier to manage stuff uh, in two-player. Got a bing. Kill that little blue thing. Alright. Come on, my god. Come on. Alright. Air dash. Bada bing. Kill this guy. Zoom. First level finished. Didn't take me multiple tries. But I did take a lot of damage there, so I'm not going to get like an A+. Plus. I think I'll get an A or a B plus, Maybe? Because I got all the coins and I got all the parries. Maybe A or A-. minus. Okay. That's not too bad. It took me one try, so... But... As per my statement, I will do two bosses because it, 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 we're seven minutes into this episode. Come on. Well, about to be eight minutes, but we're going to head to the shop real quick to get some weaponry. I love this guy. I love the shop. I love his voice. All right. So we are going to buy uh, spread. We might buy lobber, but uh, I think for now, just spread and smoke bomb. Basically, spread, it's like a little shotgun blast. Um, it's fully automatic, but you have to be really close to your enemy. It does a lot of damage, but you, you have to be close to your enemy. That's like the, the downside of it. I, I actually like it. I think it's a pretty good weapon. Yep. Go to the equip menu. And in shot B, we will have spread. Now, we don't have any supers, but I did buy smoke bomb. Smoke bomb is uh, basically when you when I use my dash, it turns me invisible, so I can't take damage when I'm dashing. So let's do some bosses. I, I should have done the boss up there first, but I'm already here. So let's do this. Botanic yeah, Panic, we'll get the Root Red Pack. Now, go. I actually really do like this boss. I think this is one of, the, one of my favorite bosses in the game. Because it's simple, but it's also kind of difficult. There we go. Damn it. Because I tried to get cute with the spread. The spread is pretty good, though. Baby boy. You have a right to be crying. That was really easy. He actually... And then right here, we got the carrot dude. Honestly, this boss fight isn't that bad. I think this is the first boss fight of the game. A lot of people do this as the second boss fight. I I think of this more as the first boss fight. Because I think the first boss fight that a lot of people do is actually like a lot more difficult than this boss. Oh wait, I can use my uh, super. 
Yeah, my super is eight way because I'm using spread. Oh damn, that was. I tried to get Q. I tried to get Q. Oh my god, how much HP do you have, dude? Oh my Jesus! Oh wait, wait, did I win? Did I win? <laughs> did, I, did I win or did I lose? Which one? Oh. Oh shit, I won! <laughs> I won! Oh, that's an easy boss. I'm actually kind of disappointed that I that I died on that. It's because normally I start the game by buying roundabout. Uh, spread, I think it's a good weapon. I personally don't like it very much. But yeah, now we have this unlocked. So, the root pack. Let's talk to this guy. Let's talk to him. Hell, probably a monkey's uncle. I'm putting my moolah on the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. I'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. If some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. Hell. Uh, from what I remember, if you dig in, like, a certain bush, you find a free coin. Alright. Alright, so this is the next boss. A ruse of ooze, Goopy Legrand, or Goopy Legrande. I say Goopy Legrand. This is looking to be about a 15 minute episode, it's not bad. This boss is pretty easy. This is a boss I'm a bit more comfortable using spread on. Because his pattern is really easy. Uh, okay. And then as soon as I say that, I get hit by said pattern. I. No. No. <laughs> it was looking to be a 15 minute episode, too, boys. Alright, I'm, I'm going quiet because I'm being a tryhard for some reason, even though I've already beaten this boss at least, like, twice. At least twice. Oh my god, he's got- okay, there we go, second phase. Oh shit, he's so fast! Honestly, I think this boss is pretty easy. Uh, it's not... Oh, Jesus, that was spooky. Here we go. I think... Ooh, caught him with all eight. That was, that was good. Yes! Oh, this is, this is, I'm doing amazing. Oh, got him, Chief. Yeah, I might do another boss, actually. I'm feeling kind of confident right now. Or I might do another level. Who knows? Eh, it's not 15 minutes yet. I think I got like a C plus for that or C minus. B minus? Not bad. Alright. I, I really do enjoy playing this game, though. I actually find Cuphead really fun to play. Oh, yay. Goopy Legrand! I think it's Goop Goopy Legrande. I think that makes a bit more sense. What's that? You two want to fly on a plane like I do? Uh, I have something about blueprints. Oh, yeah, so this is where we get introduced to another section of the game. So, this is the aerial section. It's a little tutorial, so X, shoot, rapid fire. Uh, once you get a bar of meter... Once you have a full bar of meter, you can turn into a super bomb. You just explode. But if you don't have meter, you can just do a little missile. You know, you can do a couple missiles. Also, if you hold Y, you can shrink. Which makes you move faster, makes your hitbox smaller, but you also get decreased range. Um, but yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, 
I think I think the uh, the aerial section of this game are honestly not that fun. Sorry about that noise, by the way. Someone's trying to show me something. <laughs> I don't think it's copyrighted, so I think we're fine. You know what? I know what I'll end this episode with. The mausoleum. What are you? What are you doing? Be gone, spirits! Oh wait, you're real. I'm about to hit you with the old parry move. Nah, no, that's how you do a ghost around here. Only a nitwit tries shooting someone who ain't really there. Speaking of not being places, would you follow my moving on? You're spooking the fish. Well, you know what? That's rude. Let's go to the mausoleum. This is how you unlock your super, which is once you get five bars of meter, instead of just doing an a EX attack, you do a special EX attack. Now go! Parry. Remember, anything that's pink can be nullified with a parry. This is basically just parry practice. It's not that hard. Uh, and I've stayed on this platform the whole time. It's kind of impressive by my standards. Cause, damn it, yeah, normally I fall off the platform after a missed parry. I've never actually seen what happens when you fail the mausoleum. This is, uh, there we go. Gosh, I don't know how to thank you, boss, for saving me. Where are my matters? I didn't even introduce myself. I'm known as the legendary chalice. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. It should help. There are other boss leaves around equal though. I just wonder. Well, well. It was going to be a 15-minute episode. Uh, it's looking to be an 18-minute episode. But, with that said, after I equip this super, because that's what they make you do after you finish that... Yep, after I equip this super. Uh, yep. Magical super arts have to be equipped in the menu before use. And now we have super art number one. Well, that was episode one of Cuphead. I really hope you guys enjoyed I know I love playing this game, and honestly, who, who wouldn't love this game? It's quirky, it's it's different. You don't see a lot of games like this on the market nowadays. I might cut out there, I have no idea why. Um, <laughs> I feel like it did. But, I, I, I find it a really interesting game to play because it looks a lot different it feels a lot different than other games it's a nice run and gun thing so that hasn't been done in a little bit and i like it but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching i know i enjoyed playing it remember to like comment subscribe dislike it if you dislike it it was me mother explosive buttily here with an episode of cuphead and i'll see you guys in the next episode Bye bye